I met you a drink So baby, for me, cause I've been the backseat of your over bed I know you can't Oh my god Oh, oh my god oh. Oh, I still can't get used to it I still catch my breath every time that I walk on the way here to the bus stop Anyway, good morning guys Good morning, people, and to all my new viewers, my name is Rainalyn, and yeah, we are here in Norway right now, guys. And today's agenda, I'm gonna bring you with me. We're gonna go to the bank, because yesterday I went there, right? If you watch the other vlog, you're gonna know that we went there. Unfortunately, we cannot be able to go inside it because they're going to be closed anytime soon so today we're gonna go there that's the first thing that we're going to do a few moments later oh so we are finally here in oslo guys and now we are walking towards carl johan street and go to the bank so to this trip it's awful you guys knew already that i do love the public transportation here in norway I do love it. I would say that they are the best. You guys knew that. But since the weather get warm, guys, because it's summer, right? <sighs> oh my god. Every time that I ride uh, public transportation, it's, you know, struggle for me. It because I don't know if the people here used to it already to smell the armpit of other people. But I guess I would say like majority that I met, not met, but the one I bump in or every time that it's very rare now that I ride a bus that the bus, there is no people that who smell armpit. Most of my uh, trip now, I can smell armpit or even I'm just walking or go to shopping center or buy groceries. You can really smell the armpit. I've been smelling the armpit now for like what more than a month but I still not get used to it and to make it worse today to this trip going here is the one who I sit with it smell alcohol armpit and alcohol are not really a good combination it's really make me sick I have a bad headache and to make it more worse is i left my headset with me at least if i have a headset it's make me more calm down and more relaxed but oh my god and do you know what happened the guy that who sit beside me he was drunk and he was talking to me and even said that asking me a lot of things which is i answer i am very friendly guys but earlier i kind of not feeling good because of the armpit and alcohol and when he he go down first he stopped first before me so one stop before where I stop he stopped there guys and before he left he said that I see you later so I said that okay I see you when I see you <laughs> when he was outside of the bus he went and knocked to the window and said that and give me a flying kiss so the old woman gave me like a pity look because maybe she thinks that I am uncomfortable and I'm just being nice talking so yeah that's what happened on my trip on the way here but I cannot you know I cannot relax I need to do the things that I need to do even I have a bad headache maybe I'm gonna go to the Philip uh, Asian store later I'm gonna buy something that I can put in my nose so that if there's like a armpit stinky the one I can smell is the the medicine, not the medicine, but the ointment. That one is the one I use before in Philippines every time that I travel because sometimes I don't like the strong perfume that's gonna give me headache and also like the armpit. But the armpit here, guys, it's more worse than in Philippines. In Philippines, it's very, not very rare, but compared here, I would say that a lot. <laughs> okay, enough to my experience earlier. Now we are in Carl Johan uh, Street and we're gonna go to DNB Bank so hopefully that I can finish this one early so that we have enough time to go to Scott 
to yeah what we're gonna do in spot i'm going to tell you later for now let's go to the nb bank That's the DNB bank. Let's hope they are open. I'm hoping that they're going to accept um, client that there is no uh, appointment. A few moments later. So finally it's done and I decided I'm going to make a separate vlogs of uh, what to bring and what do you expect if you're going to um, do an open account here in Norway. I mean, bank open account. <laughs> Did I say it right? Yeah, but that one. I'm going to make another vlog because I guess people should know about it. I mean, not the people here because they know, right? But at least to the people that who are gonna come here for the first time. So I guess this is, if I'm gonna make that one, I guess that's gonna be like a big haul because I didn't expect that I'm going to experience that one when I was there. And yeah. So comment below if you want me to do that. So for now, we are done in uh, DNB Bank. And next, we're gonna go to Scott. But I'm hungry. It's already past 12 and I feel like I don't wanna eat meal, but I want something in my tummy. So I want donut and maybe let's go to milk tea. I should treat myself. For being so busy in the last few days, Charlan, <laughs> I just make like a reason so that I can, I wouldn't feel guilty to buy a milky. I really want milky. It's been a long time since I have it. So let's have it, okay? Let's spoil myself today. So, and I need sweet. I need energy. So let's do it. Weather is super good. Look at that. I forgot where is the milk tea located, but I guess it's somewhere here. So guys, I'm going to see you later. I'm going to use my Google map to find a milk tea here. So I just want to say thank you to all my Patreon members and also to the people that who buy me a coffee. So guys, today I'm going to use your money. Instead coffee, we're going to buy a uh, milk tea. So, and of course, to all the people that who been watching my channel and everybody that who support me thank you so much guys i am not here right now walking here in norway without all your help so yeah we survived so i'm not sure if the way that i take right now is the right way going to milky but let's see i know how to use google map now so i'm proud to myself so there's a tea here but this is not the tea that i search so this one this is the nice to meet tea over there but this is not the one i am looking for i'm looking for the other one the one it's uh cheaper bernadette is the one who introduced me to that that he said that that one it's not too expensive and it's delicious so let's go there okay i like the building here in norway it's make you feel like you are in 100th century. <laughs> so pretty. How I wish Kiao Kiao were gonna be here so that I can be able to take a pictures in the street and to every corner here in Norway. <laughs> yes, every corner. Remembrance before we go be going back to Philippines. Look at that, so pretty. Okay, well, let's follow the traffic rule. Oh my god! Okay. So that type of train, they called it thick. Hi. <laughs> they said hi to my vlog. I just opened it because I was thought that he's going to stop me. I didn't expect that he's going to say hi. 
if I just knew I didn't stop it so that you can see them saying hi. Oh, there's a the kids. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, there's a construction going on here. So, coming inside here, it's a little bit tricky. So, put the name in here so that you can search it in Google just in case that you wanna try it to try their uh, tea here. So, the name of the tea shop is Theology. And this is how it looks like inside. So pretty. So you need to order here. Okay, let's try. Um, English. Uh, take away. And milk tea. Uh, okay. Maybe this one. This one? Mm, why it's 89? Which? Okay. Low sugar. Look, it is 10 kroner if you don't want ice. So let's do standard. If you want warm, it costs 10 kroner. So cold. Then add to court. Check out. So look, you need to be very careful with this. Because if you're going to do like this, it's four corners. So I'm just happy. Mm, terminal. This is our milk tea. And now we're heading towards Oslo Station. We're going to catch a tea ban going to Grudland so Scott it's located at Grudland guys so that one guys is the train station and this station guys that area those one are the long trip like if we're just gonna be around Oslo we need to go in this area so it's gonna be like side of Burger King then it's going towards uh, Oslo city so I wouldn't edit this one so that you guys will gonna be familiarized to the place and you guys when you come here you're gonna know where to go if you're going to ride a Tiban so this by 14 so by 14 it's gonna it's like a mall so there's two mall connected here in Oslo station so there's nervous scene and also Vita and also there's uh, Apotec so I tried not to move the camera fast so that you it will not be feel dizzy when you're gonna watch, watch this one so that one did you see those uh, door going out that one is connected to Oslo City and if you're going towards right not really right but just straight because that one is going to left it's gonna be going to bus terminal or going to Grudland but we're going to ride train I try to explain as much as I can hopefully <laughs> I explain it well so it's a parking lot so either way guys you're gonna come inside if you're gonna go to Oslo station or you can just walk outside it's like it's walking distance like what 200 meters away <laughs> I don't think I am the right person to mention about meters because i don't know how far it is but anyway it's easy to know guys if i knew if i found out for sure you guys will find out too okay there's a kid so i cannot point at the camera over there so just watch my feet so okay so this one is you're gonna be like inside of Taiban Station. Here. Let's show you. Okay, my landmark here, guys, is the 7 Eleven if I wanna go back to uh, Oslo Station. 
So did you see the one? So that one is Oslo Station, Oslo City. So that's the mall. And this one it's going. Uh, no, this one. This one is we're going to. This is where we're going to uh, catch the train here. Yen Bartinoget. So that one. That's where I'm going to catch the Grudlan. And there's other road here too. And that one is except. Okay. Okay, let's go! Okay, so we are already here in Grudland, so it's a very fast, you know, trip, guys. I guess it's just like, what, two minutes, three minutes? No, not even two minutes. Uh, not even three minutes, around two, one to two minutes, because we're going to stop in the next stop from Yen Bartanoget to where we are earlier. So, this is where the um, scat located. So, what we're going to do to scat? So, I'm going to register. I, this morning, guys, I told you, right, that I called... Uh, now and I just find out that the kids are not registered here. I mean they are on a region, but they are Not I didn't register them as they move here in Norway So I'm the only one who moved here without the kids. So I mean they are here, but they don't know so we need to them We need to let them know so we need to go there and tell them that my kids are moving together with me same time when I arrive here when I arrive here so since we are here in inside of Oslo uh, Taven station there's um, Asian store here and we're going to drop there because I want to buy uh, something that I can put in my nose so that I wouldn't smell anymore the armpit here <laughs> so this one so we're going to go to Twins Asian store. So there's a Wister Union here. If you're looking for a Wister Union, there's a haircut. If you want haircut, I guess I'm going to need to bring Chon soon here. There's a cell phone place here. So beside of this one is the Asian store. Papalita ko kuan, hala. Ay papatagpila ang inyong tiger balm. Oh, seventy-nine pesos. Wala kay gawain ani? Wala mo ramo. Okay, let's just buy this one because I need it. Okay, salamat. Okay, so we have it now. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this one. And yeah, I always have this one, guys, when I was in Philippines. But it because I keep using it, I overuse it. And I get my neck get allergy with it. And it costs really like really bad. And I need to go to the doctor that time it because my skin is get irritated. So anyway, today it's been a long time since I used this one. But this Tiger Balm, very useful guys. For headache, if you are stressed, you're going to put it in here. So I'm going to show you how to use this one. But for now, it is already past 1. So let's go to Scat first. Then I'm going to show you and drink this one later on. Okay, this is how it looked like here, outside of the Taban station. So here we are here. So actually, this area is a busy area. You can find a different races here. From India, Pakistan, any kind. So someone sell food. So I'm gonna be honest to you guys. This area is dirty. <laughs> there, even there's a trash can, but people just threw everywhere. I hope you know 
I hope people will gonna be more, you know, responsible for not throwing garbage. Look, Norway, it's a beautiful country, but people make a mess. So I talked to some of the people here. They said that, they said that, you know, the one who make this place dirty or some other places is the foreigner not the local which is i agree it because i've been with uh you know some for uh, fr some local here and every time that they saw a trash they pick it up and threw it so i guess the foreigner is the one who make a mess here so there so that's the scat hello hello <laughs> so yeah so scat it's very easy to find here guys as long as you are here in Grudland use your google map and yeah it's very easy to find if I found it that I don't know how to use map how much more you guys that you guys knew how to use map so, some people are very you know they love camera because they're gonna say hi to you but some people is if you are you know uh, talking to camera they're gonna you're gonna easily see that they don't like it that's why you know every time that i vlog and pointing every time that i vlog i make it sure that i observe the faces of the people so that if i can if i can feel that they don't like it i stop immediately okay so this is what i love here in norway even it's sunny day look it's windy and it's not humid it's still fresh <laughs> oh my god today it's a good day except all the armpit that i smell you know what i've been smelling the armpit for more than a month now since summer start and until now i still don't eat it i don't like it i don't like alcohol smell i don't like armpit smell yeah but I love food smell. <laughs> My landmark here to Scat is that bridge, that one. So anyway, well, at the side of the Scat is there's a coffee shop over there. But anyway, we are here already. So I guess I'll see you in a bit, guys, because I don't think I can bring you inside. A few moments later. We are very lucky today because there's not a lot of people. Really good. It's good. I don't regret buying this one. It's my first time to try this one, this Jasmine Classic or something. It's good. Mm. Oh, it's perfect. It's not sweet. I almost don't taste the sugar, which is I like. So we are in 2022, and I'm glad there's not a lot of people here right now. So I can be able to film without getting scared. Hopefully that the, the guard will not notice that I am vlogging here inside. Because I don't know if it's allowed or not, but for sure, you know, mostly government um, countries are not allowed to vlog inside, but... Anyway, you cannot notice that I am here inside, right? <laughs> so anyway, it's still like day 0220 and we are on day 022 but there is no people in the counter right now. So there's no one in the counter of uh, number 26. So I guess we're going to wait until they're going to notice that um, someone is waiting. <laughs> someone waiting to their help. So no stress. We have enough time for us to pick up the kids. It's still only like past one. And we're going to pick up the kids around 3.45. And guess what? I need to be on time or I need to be early when I pick up the kids. It's because the teacher yesterday told me, please be on time to pick up your kids. Because I was late yesterday, guys. Because I've been, you know, I went to DNB Bank and so on. I'll have a lot yesterday it's a busy day for me too 
I guess I bring you with me that time. So if you wanna watch that videos, I'm going to put the link in the description below so that you can check it. How, um, what we do yesterday. So yeah, the teachers told me that I should pick them up early. Actually, they've been calling me twice. <laughs> and I said that, oh, I'm gonna be there in six minutes. They said, oh, it's okay. But when I'm there, they said that I need to be on time. <laughs> so we need to be on time. Mm. A few moments later. Okay, we're done, but not really done. <laughs> we doesn't done. We don't done anything there. So okay. Okay, my way. Okay, how to explain it? So okay. So I was wondering why the information um the the information area. <laughs> There's no people there. So now I kind I don't want to wait anymore for nothing, right? So what I did is I went to the second cashier that I saw that there's a people there. So I asked that, hi, um, when is the people coming here <laughs> in this information area? They said that oh the information will gonna will gonna uh, entertain only from nine to 12 then I said that oh can I ask you instead <laughs> and I did ask then that's the time that he she said that oh you need to book an appointment <laughs> so okay I don't want to book an appointment and when I came there a few weeks ago it's actually work so I'm still gonna do the way I did so if you want to know the whole story of my cat experience here in Norway because maybe it's gonna be like helpful to the people that who is first time here and to people like me that who doesn't like to read all the information in the internet and everything because I do have a problem reading guys because I have a vertigo so I cannot actually uh, uh, read too much and I find it like not waste of time but hassle for my side i prepare to go i bet i'd rather go to the office and walk or hassle to go here or to find the office compared to sit in the house and do searching right i rather go to the office so that's what i did and that's worked for me so and so far it's working and i don't need an appointment for me okay this is based on my experience i'm not saying that Oh, uh, you're uh, broking. You're broking some rule or something. So, any negative comment, you can. You are welcome to leave a de negative comment. That this is how I work here. This is the way I do it. So either this one can inspire someone or can help someone or anything. Okay, so yeah. If you want me to do it, if you want me to make like uh, scat videos how I do it my way because maybe it's gonna be helpful leave a comment below and I'm gonna do it so now we have enough time we have enough time because it's still like 2 p.m. and we're going to pick up the kids at 3 45 so what we're gonna do is go to the yeah we're gonna go there and just go to the park and I'm gonna show you how I will use the tiger bug Okay, so see you there in the park in the school of the kids. So we're finally here, guys. We're only waiting for uh, the kids to go out. So it's still like, what? Um, past three. So there's still like 25 minutes more before the kids will gonna go out. So now it's time for me to show you how I'm going to use this one. And by the way, guys, on the way here, I tried to pay attention how far the 750 meters so i've been walking from carl i don't know i cannot pronounce the name but it's carl bartip something plus <laughs> going to here so when i check the map it says like 700 meter away so i tried to check how many minutes when i walk the 750 um 750 meters so i walk it for eight minutes so comment below if eight minutes it's you know it's a good 
you know it's a good time or if i am fast or if i am slow i guess you know what i mean right so for me if someone will gonna ask like 750 meters i know already that that's gonna be like eight minutes walk for me so anyway i opened the tiger balm yeah this one so by the way the tiger balm guys there's two color of it color of it so there's red and white so yeah i regret buying the red i should buy the white because the white is uh for i guess this this red it's more strong the white it's more calm little compared to this one and this one is the white is of course it will not stain your clothes that's why i should buy that one and this one will not stain your clothes guys so anyway before i'm going to open this one i just want to show you that i dropped in mini and i didn't vlog when i went there i'm hungry i didn't eat lunch the when i guess i had breakfast around nine past nine and now it's almost it's past three and i'm really hungry i really need rice more but I don't want to spend more because I already spent too much with this and plus this one so let's wait until we're gonna back home this one is 19 kroner and this one is 65 plus I forgot how much this one so I spent a lot today mm. this is my favorite donut mm. here mm. It's vanilla flavor. I love it. Mm. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say something. Later, just in case that I'm gonna be hungry on the way back home. So we have like we're gonna travel one more hour before we're gonna be arrived at the house so for sure i'm gonna be hungry again and i drink it all i love this one mm. love it it's empty so anyway it's time for you to show uh, to show how i'm going to use this one this is how it this one if i remember it right guys this one it's only cost like what 150 kron 150 pesos in philippines it's been a long time since i buy this one but when i was in davao i do have a lot i do have few of this every every time that i go to davao because i cannot buy this one in my hometown i need to buy it in um watson i really love the smell like you do not need to put it to your um skin or anything if you have like headache all you need to do is like smell it and it's really helped but for me guys i'm not satisfied just smelling especially here in summer <laughs> oh my god smell good so this one is how many ml with this there's no no it doesn't say but this is there's a small packaging of this one guys and that one it caused i forgot already oi. so anyway I'm just gonna research and then I'm going to let you know. So this is how I did, just little thingy. It's very soft. I put it here. Uh, you do not need to put too much with this one. It's um, uh, what's the English of halang? It's like spicy, <laughs> spicy, like that. Mm. So if your seatmate have a stinky armpit you will not note the i mean i can still smell it but this one will help instead that i'm gonna focus to the smell of that armpit oh i can uh smell this one instead i guess i put too much because i feel that it's started to be a uh, tingling sensation on my nose yeah i guess i add i put too much and aside from this one i usually put this one here every time that i have um you know pain in this side and this is the one i should stop using this one because this one will gonna irritate my skin but i plan not to do it every day a guy ah i put too much <laughs> i put too much guys 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> but it's okay. It's gonna go soon. Oh. Yeah. I like putting this one or here. It's really, uh, you know, help you not feel stressed. This one can help headache. Oh yeah, this one. The white one, it's more uh, mild. Oh my god. Okay, it's help. Yeah. So anyway, I guess it's time for me to end this vlog. Because this vlog will gonna be long. My plan is to make it short and just bring you with me. But seems like this one will be a long vlog. So I guess it's time for me to end this vlog. So guys, comment below if you have any questions or even you don't have a question. Just let me know that you're watching. So next time, the first who gonna leave a comment is I'm going to give a shout out to my next video. So feel free to leave a comment. Once you're gonna watch, leave a comment first. So yeah, I'll see you to my next one guys. Bye bye. Weather is really good, a lot of green, it's really helped my eyes and yeah, more relaxed. I can be able to relax before the kids will out, so yeah, bye! Kids are here. Are you guys enjoy? Yeah, they love it here. So they love the school here. So I just treat them with ice cream and the other one is, I don't know what's that. So, okay. So I treat them it because I can be able to talk to the teacher and the teachers that oh your two kids are really good. They learn a lot of words today. So let's ask what they learn. What you learn? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I shouldn't I shouldn't treat them an ice cream. Because the teacher told me that they learn good, but it seems like. Uh, okay, it's a waste, guys. <laughs> bye bye. I, 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 I. What? <laughs> Snippa, I slap you because I spend money, but you don't learn. <laughs> okay, Iris doesn't give up. Ah, oh, she right that, so okay, she can. Okay, this is the back kickboxing that I told you guys. I mentioned this one. So if they stay longer here, I probably enjoy. I probably will gonna join. So that. Okay, bye bye now, bye bye. Okay, bye bye, bye bye.